about today. We're going to field strip the AR-15. First thing you want to do is make sure your rifle is not loaded. Put the bolt carrier all the way to the rear. I can see inside the chamber. There's no round in the chamber. No magazine in the magazine well. Now we're going to close the bolt. I got a Magpul bad lever on here because I'm left handed. So I'll push that to release the bolt catch. Just like that. Now, to remove the lower receiver from the upper receiver, we push the back side of this pin right here so it comes up and grab onto it and pull it all the way to where it stops. We'll lower the lower receiver from the upper receiver. Now we want to take the bolt carrier group from the upper receiver. Pull the charging handle. Well, about that far is good. Take the bolt carrier group out the back of the upper receiver. This right here is the workhorse of that rifle. The bolt carrier group. Let's set that off to the side for a little bit. Now, we want to take the charging handle out of the upper receiver. There's a couple of dog ears on each side of that charging handle. And there's a couple of notches. So you want to take the dog ears down and away from the notches. So it sits in here. Get it back here where these dog ears are and then drop it from the upper receiver and it will come out the back. See if you can see them dog ears right there. Right there, you see that? There's one on each side. And they fit the notches in the charging handle slot. We'll put that away for a little bit. Now what I like to do is make it a little bit easier on myself. I'll bring the rear of that lower receiver back up into the upper receiver. That takes a little bit of the play out so I can get this front pivot pin released. Push it from the back side, pull it out. There you go. We've separated the lower from the upper. Now we can put that out of the way for the time being. We're going to go on to the bolt carrier group. Now the first thing you want to do, let me get this turned around, get it oriented right. The first thing you want to do when you're taking your bolt carrier group apart is you want to remove the firing pin retaining pin, this cotter pin right here. I hook onto it, pull it out a little bit, and then remove that. It looks like a cotter pin. They call that the firing pin retaining pin. Now we're going to tilt the bolt up so it's on its rear end and the firing pin will drop out just like that. This here's your firing pin. Now the gas key when the bolt is fully forward the gas key covers up the cam pin. So you have to push the bolt into the bolt carrier 
Now you can see the cam pin. The cam pin is what locks and unlocks the bolt. Here we're unlocked and here we're locked. There's a barrel extension that has mating surfaces for the locking lugs. So there we're unlocked and here we're locked. Those locking lugs would lock in and unlock from the barrel extension locking lugs. So you push the bolt back into the bolt carrier, turn the cam pin 90 degrees, and you have to turn it 90 degrees so that the cam pin will clear the gas key. Once you turn 90 degrees, you reach in here with your fingers, pull the cam pin out. This is your firing pin, your cam pin, your firing pin retaining pin. Now, with the cam pin removed, you pull the breech bolt out the front. of the carrier. They call this the carrier because it carries the breech bolt. <laughs> Makes sense. Get this over here. Now what you can do from here is you can take the extractor from the breech bolt. The extractor has a spring we can't see it yet. We will when we take it off. The extractor has a spring and a booster. So that puts tension on this pivot point. To get the extractor removed from the bolt, I'll push back here on that spring. It's inside. You'll see it in a sec. And then I'll just give that a little bit of a push right there. And it'll come out right there. There's the pivot pin for the extractor. That pin right there holds the extractor to the breech bolt. Let's go ahead and take the extractor out. Set the bolt down there. And right here, if you can see it, on the end of the extractor is that spring. And there's a booster in there. And this one is colored black. Here's the hook surface of the extractor. That extractor hooks onto the rim of the cartridge. And when the bolt flies rearward, that pulls the cartridge out of the chamber. Set that right there. Now, I don't normally remove the ejector. This little spring-loaded device right here is the ejector. You'd have to punch that pin right there to get the the ejector out. I don't mess with that. Unless it's broke, I'll just leave it in there. When you're looking at your bolt, you want to make sure that the locking lugs are not cracked. Here's your gas rings back here. They're the seal for the gases that drive the bolt. So you want to make that sure that these are serviceable. That's a good looking bolt right there.
for the ejector you want to make sure that that claw right there, that hook, has a good grabbing surface to grab that cartridge rim and remove it from the chamber. You want to make sure that this area right here is not cracked. Make sure that that spring and booster are intact. That there's no cracks around the pivot point. Where the ejector pin rides. Firing pin, make sure it's not bent, broken, in good condition. Firing pin retaining pin, you want to make sure that that's not cracked. These will crack, they'll come undone. They get beat up pretty hard. Here's the cam pin. This cam pin, this thing right here takes a lot, a lot, a lot of work. A lot of work. You can see where, where it's worn pretty good. Might have to get me a new one of these for too long. But just make sure that it's not cracked all the way through. You're going to have some wear. This is a machine. You're going to have some wear. Keep it oiled. Keep plenty of oil in there. Grease. Whatever you like to use. Now for the bolt carrier. What I look for. First off is to make sure that the gas key is tight. If you have any gas leakage. You can have some problems with your rifle. That's an understatement right there. Make sure it's not cracked. Not excessively worn. There's all of the pieces to that bolt carrier group.